All right, so it's Salah again, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make, how to do an oil change on a car. It's pretty much the same for all cars. Uh, yeah, so. So uh, what you wanna do is first, you have to prep, prep the oil change. So when you do an oil change, well, it's better to do this. Put your car on a ramp so you have all the oil come to the bottom of the of the oil oil bay, or whatever that holds the oil, the oil pan. And whenever you put your car on ramps, you always first thing you want to do is put it in park, of course. Emergency brake, I guess so if you want to. But the most important thing when you put your car on ramps is to put bricks behind it. And when you're when you're putting a car on ramps. I would say for the first few times you would need someone because uh, to tell you when to how far to go, how, how far to stop. But I've done this a number of times, so I know how to do it. The next thing you need is make sure you got make sure you got everything you need for the oil change. Most most important part is the prep. The better the prep, the quicker it's gonna go and easier it's gonna go. So make sure you got oil. Uh, I would recommend getting five uh, these big ones because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, make sure you get the right oil. A lot of times it'll say around the oil cap. See, it's upside down. That's five five W twenty. Just what I got here. Um, pretty much all oils are the same. They just it's all about branding, so some are expensive, but they're basically all the same. But yeah, make sure you get oil. Uh, something to take something to take the oil filter off the car you need a brand new oil filter I got Everything you see here. I got it from Walmart. It's pretty cheap. This was like three bucks. I was like 14 or 13 that oil filter thing was like Five bucks or something. I don't know. It's all cheap. You need a funnel to put oil back in the car you need a a wrench, I think that's what it's called, or like a socket or something. I don't, I don't even know what it's called, but whatever. I can't think of it right now. But just take off the oil plug, the oil, the oil screw, or whatever it's called. And then you need an oil pan to catch the oil when you take it out of your car. And then after it's done draining, put it into a bucket. And then you can take it back, to, you can take it to like AutoZone or some place that takes oil to recycle it. And, uh,. I would recommend wearing uh, dirty clothes. Don't wear nice clothes because you're gonna get messy, especially if, if it's your first time. Another thing, a good tip. This is uh, what I highly recommend: warm up your car before you do an oil change. Because if you don't warm it up, well, I've never not had it warm. I did my own oil change, so. But from what I, I've always warmed up because it comes out a lot faster and just makes the job that much easier. And also, when you're doing oil change, this is a good time to check your fluids and your engine bay. Make sure everything's okay. You make sure everything's clean like check your, your coolant your power steering your brake fluid your washer fluid uh, transmission so over here transmission and the oil there's that and look i mean see i checked it i'm um, low on coolant so i'm probably gonna go to walmart or autozone or something to get some coolant uh yeah, that's pretty much it. And so let's do the oil change. Okay, so make sure you have a rag too, in case, in case things get messy. And there's also another reason to have a rag. I'll show you in a little bit. But what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna feel the extra oil coming out, or I might, cause it's just, I mean, you get the, you get the point, but get your, get your wrench and your oil drop pan, because you're gonna go under the car now. <laughs> And also when you're under the car, it's a good time to check to make sure everything's okay. I'm working right now on a 2004, 2004 Ford Focus um, first gen. So if you have one, this will be this will be really helpful for you. Uh, give me one second, sorry. So yeah, this, this is also a good time to check under the car, see if you have any transmission leaks or power steering or anything like that. Or, so you can check your CV joints, your your drive axles, and all that. Okay, that's good. It's all good. All right. So I'm under my focus right now, and uh, see me back up a little so I can get a good shot. This, this is the uh, screw or bolt I'm gonna unscrew, undo whatever. And that, I can't see with the sun in my eye. This, that white thing over there, that's the 
oil filter. I have to take that off too. But first you gotta drain, you wanna take this out, let all the oil, well, most of the oil drain or all of it, and then unscrew the, that. That's what the, sometimes you gotta screw it by hand, but it's probably cause it's all oily. I'm gonna have to use the, my oil, my oil filter uh, thing to take it off. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna be able to fill, to film this taking off because it's, I need two hands and I can't, and I don't wanna get my phone dirty. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry the phone, the video isn't as good as you guys want it to be. I'm sorry, I'm just recording with my phone. But, uh, I mean, you don't need anything good. So, I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off, let all the oil drain. And then when you're taking this off, uh, after you take this off and you let it drain to the pan, go back up there and take off your oil oil cap so it flows better. And then after that, I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna pour that into the oil pan that put my screw on my new uh screw on my new uh Sorry the video cut uh I don't know what happened. I think I actually hit the the button or whatever. But when you're putting on the new I was saying uh, I'm gonna screw on my new oil filter. Well sometimes they have directions so that's pretty cool. But uh, you take take the old oil or new oil doesn't matter and rub it around this ring. The reason why you do that is because uh, it creates a go good oil seal and it prevents the rubber from breakage. So it won't cause oil leaks and it'll cause a good seal and it'll and make a good seal and it'll stay on and you won't have any problems with your oil and it'll keep your oil clean and all that. And then uh, yeah, so I'm basically gonna do the oil change. Uh, I'm gonna drain the oil and then and then I'm gonna. Uh, I won't I won't be able to fill down it because like I said I have need both my hands then I'm gonna record I'm gonna show you guys putting oil back into the car and uh, if there's anything I didn't touch up on I'll touch on in that video okay let's do this okay so right now I'm just letting the oil drain and see it's messy uh, it came out pretty fast and uh, It'd be better to have a big oil pan, but I mean, it's okay. It's no biggie that this driveway is pretty dirty. I mean, it's just no biggie. But uh, I also I wanted to say that I forgot to touch up on is uh, if you're doing an oil change on a 2004 Ford Focus or the first gen Focuses, it's the the bolt for the oil pan. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. Um, Seize right here. Took that off. So I'm taking the oil filter off. I use this. Lefty loosey righty tighty. So right now I'm just letting the oil oil drain. I'm about to put on the new oil filter. I'm gonna take the old one off, put the new one. See, I I took this off so it would flow better, get all the oil, all the oil out. That's the oil cap. And yeah, make sure you have a napkin because it's a dirty job. Uh, if you don't like oil on your hands, you like don't only like getting dirty. Um, you wear gloves. But yeah, I don't I don't like working with gloves. I like using my hands. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see it's draining. I'm about to go down right now and uh, take the oil oil uh, filter off with this how this works is this opens up and then it goes around that and you tighten it and it'll like take off the take off the oil filter and it'll unscrew it and then yeah so let's just want to let you guys know it's a 13 millimeter bullet for doing a 2004 Ford Focus and I don't know about the new ones or and the thing about oil filters they can be everywhere on a car. They can be under the car. They can be right on top. They can be inside of the engines. Oh, but it's always attached to the engine. So that that's a good thing to know. If you're doing an oil oil job. All right. Okay, so I just finished uh, uh, draining the oil and I took off the oil filter. Oh, I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, also, when you're um, putting on a new oil filter, only tighten it with your hands. Don't use um, that. I didn't end up using it to take it off because I remember the last time I, t I was uh, I put it on only with my hands and I was able to get it off with my hands. You don't want to put it on too tight because if you put it on too tight, it could mess up the seal and it could cause oil leakage, which is never good because you're just losing money because you're leaking oil, obviously. But right now I'm gonna pour some new oil in. Everything's back on the new oil filter, the oil screw. The oil pan's still down there. I'm gonna take it and put it in here. So this was for my last oil change, so I'm gonna take the oil that I drained out of my car and put it in here. And uh, also, um, thing about focuses, uh, I know this year and within the first gens, there's like a few different engines, so the oil filter might be different places. So if it's not the same place that you saw in my car, it could, it's just because you might have a different oil. Mine's a my I mean different engine. My engine's a 2.0 dual overhead cam. 
uh, yeah, Z Tech or whatever. Wait, right now I'm gonna put some new oil in. Okay, and then uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, just put in the comment section below. Uh, if I have anything to add, I'll do. I'll say something after the oil change.